Hey, what's up? This is Ergo from Behemoth, and you're watching Rock and Metal News. Fuck you. Hey guys, this is Ron from YouTube's Rock and Metal News with a Rock and Metal News update. There's a new band out called Temple of Rock. It features guitarist Michael Schenker, uh, vocalist Doogie White. Uh, he pl- he sang in Rainbow and Malmsteen and Tank and Ex Scorpions members Francis and Herman on bass and drums and Wayne Finley from MSG and uh, Slavier on guitar and keys will be, be releasing their new album called Bridge the Gap on November the 22nd in Europe and in the UK on Monday, December the 2nd. Michael Schenker has also announced some North American tour dates in February, uh, January and February 2014. You can check out the tour dates in the description of the video. Lamb of God has a documentary film coming out called As the Palaces Burn. You can check out the artwork and the link in the description for the poster. The film documents the band's last few years on the road with much attention brought to the Lamb of God fan base. Randy's acquittal on manslaughter charges in Prague. Czech, Re- Czech Republic is also covered in the show and you can stay tuned for theater release dates. And Screams of Angels debut album Into the War Zone is set for release on December the 27th. Stay tuned for more information on that. And here's some good news. The reunited Dark Angel has been confirmed for the 2014 Sweden Rock Festival, which takes place June the 4th to 7th, 2014. And Slayer guitarist Kerry King had a chat with the Toronto Star regarding Slayer's next studio album, which they hope to have out before the end of 2014. Uh, Kerry said, uh, January is the thought for a possible start for the recording sessions. And I always say thought because as soon as I say something, it always later than that. But that's my thought anyway. Me and Paul Bostaff have like 11 demos of different songs. And I think there's four more that I've still uh, got to teach him. So that's just uh, my stuff. But with those... 11 or 15 songs were way ahead of the game and you can check out the full article in the link in the description this is ron from youtube's rock and metal news thanks for tuning in